What is up, my podcast listeners? This is your host, Rafael Maduszewski, and I'm excited today because we are going to talk about my new ebook coming out on January 30th. We are about 20, 19 days away, something like that. So I am excited to dedicate this entire episode to my new book, and we're actually going to dig right into it and one, go over who it's for, what it does, what it focuses on, and we're going to actually do a little preview of what my book looks like, what you're going to expect to get out of it, and I'm just super excited because I've been working on this project the last year. And honestly, it has been really quick because it was one of those projects where, you know, I was looking and reflecting back on the Ironclad Body Training System Volume 1 that I wrote um, three years ago now. And I was just thinking like, okay, if I'm going to write another book, what is it going to be about? And I was kind of trying to figure out what topics I should get into, you know, should I do something different? And I just realized that all the stuff in that first volume I wrote, I still follow today, but just a little bit more detailed, a little bit more in depth, a little bit more polished, if that makes sense. And that's where I realized that I needed to update the book. And I started just like adding things to it and I could just like re-release it. But then I was like, you know what? I'm writing a lot. I'm adding a lot more. I'm adding more exercises. So it kind of just made sense to me to write the second volume and you know I've mentioned this on my show and my posts a bunch of times where you know it's literally the same book but just expanded so so much and one of the best analogies that I like to use is you know when you use like say Google Earth and you're you know zeroing in on where you live and you like see your house from you know a bird's eye view and then you start pressing that minus button to like zoom out and zoom out and zoom out and you see so much more of your neighborhood see so much more of your city and that's essentially what this book is I zoomed out so you see so much more and there's so much more value to it and you know I feel like that first volume I kind of scratched the surface I kind of gave you a teaser of how I train what my thought process is and I am so excited to share this on January 30th with all of you guys, because my first book clocked in around, you know, 40,000 words, which is a pretty average sized book that you would, you know, buy on Amazon or bookstore, whatever it is. But this one that I just wrote is over a hundred thousand words. This thing is a monster. And this is why I'm actually having a tough time making this into a print book because it's going to cost me a hundred dollars per book just to get this thing printed and unless I order like thousands of these to make it more cost effective um, I might just do a separate pre-sale if someone wanted an actual physical copy of my book but the ebook has a little bit more interaction because there is so much that you can click and watch or follow along to so I'm actually going to you know, release this first as an ebook because that's where you're going to get the most out of it. And it's easy access if you're in the gym following the program. So I'm going to leave it as is. And down the line later this year, I'll probably try to release it in print and probably give a pretty big discount for those who already bought the ebook for it. So I'm really excited to get into this today and just share as much as I can without giving away too much. So I'm gonna share my screen. And uh, again, every time I try to do this, um, I always go, what the hell am I doing? Okay, so we're gonna full screen this and I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger. Now, first off, check out this amazing cover that my wife designed as you can tell this guy is me and she literally traced me out and then these two back here the sketches of the muscular backs um was from my first book that she also sketched out so shout out to my wife for creating such a beautiful 
uh, cover for my ebook. Um, so the thing I want to get into, uh, actually, you know what, this full screen is not the best. Let's get into this. So actually, I wonder if I can do it this way. Ooh. One second, you guys. Actually, maybe it's not going to work out. Oh, well, we tried. Technical difficulties here. Um, we're going to go over the kind of overview of my book. So when we look here, first of all, look at how much you get <laughs> in this book. Um, this is what I mean about there's so much information. So similar to my first book, there is an assessment. It's very similar, but I've added uh, a few new things to it to kind of give me a better idea of where you're coming from. So when it comes to any time I work with somebody, I definitely need to assess them. And that's how I dictate what exercises they should be doing. And I remember when I first wrote my book, one of the things that I did early on in my career is that any you know trainer I looked up to or any fitness professional um, I looked up to, I would buy their book. And it's usually some sort of like program. And, you know, they give you all the information, how to implement the program, blah, blah, blah. But the one thing I noticed with all those books is that they didn't have an assessment. So an example is like, you know, I bought a specific muscle building book, for example. And there's, you know, your back squat, your deadlift, your bench press, your military press of the barbell, which is awesome. But then how many people can actually do that exercise without injuring themselves or like flaring something up quite a few so I was like well why wouldn't I put in some sort of assessment into my book where it would dictate what version of the program you do so in my book there's actually one program but that one program has three different versions number one is kind of like a beginner phase Number two is intermediate and number three is advanced. So the advanced one is like for someone like me that moves really well, doesn't have a long history of injuries and can take on that much volume. The intermediate is kind of in between where, you know, you may have had an injury or two, uh, but you move pretty well, um, or you know how to train around an inju injury and you've been in, in and out of the gym for a while. Perfect individual for the intermediate. And then there's the beginner one where, you know what, you've probably had your fair share of injuries. You've had your flare ups, or you're just that person that has been inconsistent at the gym because something would always happen. Like you get consistent and you're like, okay, now my lower back hurts. What the fuck? And then you go into, um, kind of a recovery phase and then you go back to the gym. And you're like, now my shoulder hurts. What the fuck? And this is kind of the reason why I built this program because me working in a clinical setting, I see this all the time. People are so frustrated that they can't reach their weight loss and fat loss goals and they have to do, you know, active rehab and they're kind of in that rehab purgatory and they're like, I just want to get to the gym so I can move, but I have this thing and this thing and my hip and my knee, what do I do? So it all comes down to proper exercise progression and what exercise to avoid. So in this assessment, if you bought my first book, you'll remember that there are several movements that you put yourself through, you film yourself doing them, and then you watch it. And then I have like just point by point, and maybe I can actually show you. Um, let's get into the oops, a little preview of the program right there. <laughs> Let's go back to the top. I'm going to go to the assessment. So, so this is the entire assessment. Nice little preview. But here's an example. Face the wall squat. Right? So in this position, this will tell me whether or not um, someone can actually barbell back squat. And I show you the demo. And in here, if you actually click this, it'll take you right to my YouTube um, page. And it'll show you the exercise right away. And then um, tells you exactly how to set yourself up for, tells you what you're going to look for, and then it's either pass or fail. And then if that wasn't enough information, you literally click here and it takes you right to a tutorial. So let's actually just do that. And it'll take you right to the video. 
And the anesthesiologist was here saying, you go. We got looks like residency did a number on you. I, the face, the wall. Look at that long, long hair. But I think you kind of got the point where, you know, we go through the program, we do the assessment, and here we are, um, straight tutorial of what to do. So um, let's go back to here. So very self-explanatory, like straight to the point, gives you guidance of what you need to do. So if we go back to the top and you take yourself through that entire assessment, and from there, um, you simply um, give yourself a pass or fail. And out of the 12 movements, you give yourself a score. And I have um, the breakdown where actually we can scroll down to find it. Oh, there's a lot that I'm giving you here. So after that, so here we go. If you get a score of zero to six, you do version one of the program, which is the beginner one. If you get a score of seven to nine, performing uh, you're performing version two. And then um, when you are um, anywhere from 10 to 12, you perform version three. So this is the cool thing. Say you're that person that's brand new to exercise or you had a lot of injuries and you start with version one. Um, what I would suggest then is now do version two and then from there do version three. So each version of the program is four months long. And in those four months, if you started with one, you actually have 12 months, so a full year of programming done for you. That's specific, as much specifically as possible to your anatomy, which is super cool. So the other thing too that I've added is some bonus assessments. So my last one, I didn't have any strength-based assessments. So I have um, three. Uh, we have the goblet squat. We have either a max chin-up or max TRX row and single leg squat. So I didn't add those in my first one. And this time I did. So you can actually do those in the beginning of the program to see where you are when it comes to uh, strength and muscular endurance. And then at the very end of the program, you can actually... Um, uh, retest and see how you did. And then um, because so many people that I've worked with has experienced low back pain, I've experienced low back pain, but the issue is figuring out what the trigger is. So if I actually put in um, low back assessments to determine what the trigger is, what position the back is actually getting triggered. And that's going to give you a little bit more information of what you need to kind of prepare yourself um, with when it comes to, um, you know, training. So that being said, already in this first little bit, like one through three is so critical. This is the stuff that I really think people miss out on when it comes to proper training is just doing a thorough assessment and then following the information from the assessment. And then that becomes your program. Those three things is what is going to set apart the person that goes to the gym, just following a cookie cutter program or doing what their friend is doing to a person who actually wants to see their goals being achieved in this year. So, so excited to give this out to the world. Next, we get into what an injury is, and this is kind of where all the sciencey stuff comes into play, but we go over an overview of what an injury is, what some common injuries are, um, what you can do about it, where, and I kind of give guidance of like, say you have frozen shoulder, what you should be focusing on with frozen shoulder, what you should seek out for frozen shoulder, like a physio, chiro, massage, whatever it is, I kind of guide you in the direction. Like this entire book is basically as close as it gets to training with me either in person or online one-on-one. -on -one. And I want to give that kind of value because what is it with me just throwing a program together, putting some information about why training is cool into a book and just selling it for $20. Like I want to give more value. So 
to better understand what an injury is, it's also looking at our anatomy. So again, this gets into very sciencey stuff, but from number five to 10, we have like literally 10, uh, five chapters on this, is anatomy one-on-one from, we go from the shoulder, we get into um, shoulder pain injuries and more things like that. We get into hips, we get into knees, we get into how your squat affects your hips, knees, and ankles. You know. Um, we get into anatomy when it comes to squatting and deadlifting. We get into so many um, pieces of the puzzle that people will, will often overlook when it comes to training. And I think it's good to know more about our anatomy because I've made this you know, analogy before where you know, we probably know more about our cars than our own body. So if you don't know what muscles are being used as you know, an antagonist or a synergist during the squat, then like, what are you really doing? You know what I mean? Like you should know some basic anatomy and that's why I wanted to kind of dig deep into this. And what's interesting is like when I started posting online on my social media about um, anatomy, like my anatomy one-on-one post, people really loved it. They were like, oh, this is so helpful. So I'm like, I'm going to compile all that information into my book. So you have it as a reference, right? And then we get into core training. This thing right here is super thorough. We also get into pelvic floor stuff. And it's not just for women, like dudes need to have a strong pelvic cord in order to squat or deadlift heavy. Like this is the stuff that no one talks about. So I put in a lot of effort to showcase um, what you need to be looking at when it comes to the core, what true core training is, it's not crunches. No, it's not. It's just not. We get into what core training is, starts with breathing. It starts with having a strong pelvic floor and stuff like half kneeling, tall kneeling positions is what most people need to be training in to actually see success. Um, the big one here, kin stretch. In my first volume, um, I scratched the surface on this. And when I started writing this, I had to go, you know what? Um, we need to dive deep into this. So I actually recorded um, full kin stretch workouts for you to follow along. So I have two every month that you're going to be training. Um, to follow along with. And they're about 40 to 45 minutes where I filmed myself and I'm taking you through an entire kin stretch workout. And all you need is a yoga mat and like a yoga block or a thick book, and you're going to be good to go. And this is going to be literally the hardest thing you've ever experienced if you've never done mobility training in your life. But it's one of those things where kin stretch is like a self-assessment. You will feel where you're weak. You will feel where you're tight and you'll know right away what you need to focus on. And it gives you more body awareness, gives you more opportunity for movement and kind of work the body more actively to gain more control, which will transfer over to injury prevention and into the gym. And if you've seen uh, my videos on when I deadlift, there was one where uh, a few months ago, I posted me trap bar deadlifting like 275. And that was literally after maybe six months of not deadlifting at all and just doing kin stretch. And I wanted to test if the theories and kin stretch when it comes to creating more control and strength with just mobility training works and gotta say it's proof is in the pudding as they say so huge section on kin stretch here and huge emphasis in the program so we also get into a huge section of the warm-up and we get into foam rolling what an actual warm-up should look like it's not 40 minutes of stretching it's literally like 12 to 15 minutes or less to actually warm up and get into the program. Um, we get into a huge section of kettlebells, how we use them. Like in this program, there is a lot of kettlebell stuff. So make sure you have kettlebells to uh, use this program. And then we get into the program where we have demo photos, um, exercise demos with video and an exercise tutorial all put in together. And then in the program, you'll literally have workout sheets for everything. So overall, this entire book is your guide to pain-free training and getting you to a point where you can actually finally lose fat, gain muscle, get stronger, basically everything that you're looking for, but 
focusing on building a huge foundation for your body to be successful, right? We utilize foam rolling, we utilize proper warm-ups, we utilize um, proper core training, we utilize kin stretch, we utilize kettlebell training. You, it's covered. It's covered. And every time I get someone that's new, that you know has been around the block in the training arena and they start training with me, they're always kind of floored with like the attention to detail that I give them, the exercise progressions. And a lot of times when like I start with somebody new and like, again, I said, like they've been around the block in the fitness industry and they look at their program, they're like, oh, this seems really easy, really simple. But then when they put into practice because they followed a assessment that I gave them, they're like, holy shit, I really felt it. Like, holy crap, I can't believe, you know, I thought this was going to be easy. And that's where true change comes is where you start doing exercises that are focusing on building on your weaknesses. Because a lot of times people like to do the stuff they're good at. You know, like they like to do bench press. They like to do bicep curls. They like to do, you know, deadlifts instead of squats because their back squat is shit right? They like to do the stuff they're good at, but we need to be doing the stuff that we suck at and get better at them. That's simple. So this was a little preview. I might do another episode where we really dive deep into this um, book and uh, let's stop the screen share and really give you a taste of what you're about to expect. But I'm super excited to release this finally. It's been on my mind and on my plate for a long time. So I'm going to leave it at that. If you have any questions about the book or anything that I brought up, feel free to reach out. Um, if you want to get on the pre-sale list, this is important. I'm saying this forever. Hit the show notes of my podcast. And there is a Google form that you literally just put your email and name down. And a few days before the release date, I'm going to email you personally, and it's not going to be like a mass emailer or anything like that, where you're not going to be subscribed to my newsletter. I don't do that. Um, you're going to get an email personally from me with a link to get my uh, book before anyone else with a special discount. So hit the show notes, put your name on the uh, pre-sale list and add me on Facebook, add me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date to all the cool stuff that I do. And Here's to my new ebook dropping January 30th. Until next time, you guys.